Welcome back to Project Element. You have been called to fulfill a great commission that God has given to his people. You, a disciple of Jesus Christ, have been called to be a missionary. But that means that you have to work in this world. That's kind of an interesting expression, the world. It's our first element. And in examining this word, we have to understand that it's kind of a term that we use that is really not understood by others. When we talk about the world, we're obviously not talking about planet Earth itself because we're in the world. But we're talking about those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. This is why in 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, it describes this element of the world in this way. It says, We know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. So we understand that the world is that place that has been separated from the wonderful knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now think about this. The verse says that the whole world lies in wickedness. Let's use this principle to do some evangelism. Go out on the street in front of your church, right there, gather up everybody in the church and go outside right in front on the street. And as you're there in front of the church, as people are walking by, just tell them, you are wicked. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of people are going to be like, wow, I need to go to your church. I don't, think that, I don't think that's what would happen. I'm pretty sure that what would happen is they'd call the police and say, hey, there are some people out there on the street and they're harassing people. So when we talk about doing missionary work, we understand that the whole world lies in wickedness. That's what the verse says. But our evangelism just on this verse alone will be pretty unsuccessful. We'll return back into the church with exactly the same people that we left with. No new people are going to be inspired this way. It's not enough to tell somebody that they are wicked. The whole world lies in wickedness. You have to understand why somebody is wicked. And for this, we go back a few chapters to 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1. Here we have a reason. The verse says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. And now we understand. There's a reason. The reason that the world is wicked is because it doesn't have a knowledge of Jesus Christ. That knowledge which saved you, that wonderful gift of salvation is what they don't know about. They don't know Jesus Christ. So now, we're going to go back outside in front of the church. We're going to gather up all the members. We're going to back out in front to do our evangelism right in front of the church. We're going to be standing on the street there in front of the church. And we're going to tell people, have you ever heard of Jesus Christ? Now, I've traveled quite extensively all over the world. And there might be a lot of people who haven't accepted Christ. There might not be a lot of people who believe. But there's a lot of people that know of Jesus Christ. I think in the vast majority of the world, if you said, do you know who Jesus Christ is? The vast, vast majority of people would say, yes, I do. I know who Jesus is. So you ask people, do you know who Jesus Christ is? And they're going to say, yes, I do. And you're going to be like, oh, well, uh, okay, move along. You're going to go back inside the church and basically your evangelism part two will also not have worked because you have told them they're wicked. You've asked them if they know who Jesus Christ is, but they've said that they do. And so you're back where you started. So we need to ask ourselves a question. What does it actually mean to know Jesus Christ? Is it sufficient just to know his name? Well, 1 John chapter 2 verse 15 tells us that there is something more that we have to explain to the world. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The first element that we need to understand is the world itself. And the world is wicked. It is wicked because it doesn't know Jesus Christ. And it doesn't know Jesus Christ because to know him is to be transformed by him. Understand this first element. Your work is to go out into this wicked world and bring to them 
the transformation that is possible through Jesus Christ.